recognise any of them or know who the men are, please ring the Dufford Powers Police on 0267 221 212. That's 0267, the code for Carmarthen, 221 212. This all-terrain go-kart is one of only 25 in the country and three of them have been stolen from Hatchwood Leisure Karting in Bedfordshire. It happened when thieves broke into the steel container where the carts were stored. They drove them off across fields towards the A1. At about 3am on Thursday the 21st of January, two of the carts were seen being driven here in a lay-by near the Windsock filling station on the northbound carriageway of the A1. It's thought then they were loaded onto another vehicle and driven away. They're very distinctive, bright red and bearing these serial numbers. Two of them were Gemini Dominators, like this one. The other, very similar, but an earlier model, is a Gemini Voyager. If you have any information, you can call the incident room in Bedford on 0234 841 212. That's 0234, the code for Bedford, 841 212. And of course, you can always ring direct to the studio here, 081 811 8181. That's 081 811 8181. Just having a look at some of the calls that are coming through. It's been fairly disappointing so far on Arthur Brumhill, although somebody's run to say that the yellow tracksuit could well be a local dispatch rider's uniform. <laughs> but we've had good calls on all the photocall cases. The Peter Reynolds, we've had calls on all the missing cars and an interesting call on that. Building Society robbery in the Midlands, somebody's added some useful information there. And the jewellery robbery, a viewer has offered a name and police are investigating that. People who commit serious crimes say they can only behave as they do by blocking out all thoughts about their victims. If only it was as easy for victims to blank out things they'd like to forget. In our next case, two men looking for quick money traumatised the lives of others and, maybe accidentally, almost killed someone. This is Spencer's Wood, four miles outside Reading in Berkshire. Good morning, Tony. Anything exciting to report? Oh, no, nothing. Just putting the Christmas cards. Oh, well, I'll leave you to it. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Yes. Bye bye. Okay, I'll come give you a hand. We've lived in Spencer's Wood for the past 22 years. It has a real village feel to it. And because we've been here so long, we know everyone and everyone knows us. Yes, I did want to go and do some Christmas shopping. I haven't done anything. I haven't got anything. Back in mid-November, a villager may have seen the robbery being planned. I work at the bakery in Spencer's Wood, about four doors down the road from the post office. I was leaving work about half past nine in the morning, and I noticed uh, across the road there was a white car parked in the industrial estate. Normally, people would, would park on the side of the road, not in the industrial park. Um, so that sort of caught my attention. The following week, three days before the robbery, but 40 miles away in Twickenham, West London. I thought I'd go out for a breath of fresh air, and whilst out there, I decided to check my car was locked OK, and saw a couple of guys um, walking along the street that looked unfamiliar and a bit suspicious as well. Well, I was in two minds as to whether or not I should actually report them to the police. And when I got indoors, I just thought I'd give them a ring. Before police arrived, this student, a Frenchman, went to get his car from the college car park where the two men had been seen. Sound and I'll kill you. £347.50. p Next day, now two days before the robbery. Oh. 
I'll go. Can I help you? Well, I don't know what it was about him, but I felt something wasn't quite right. I can only cash two of these. The other two you'll have to cash at your local post office. Okay, that's all right. Thirty-four ninety. Thank you. Thank you. There was something about it that made me feel rather uneasy. Now the robbery itself. Late Thursday afternoon in the last week of November. I'm off to Reading now to do my late night Christmas shopping. Okay. You gonna be long? No, shouldn't be too long. Okay. See you later. See you soon. Bye. Bye bye. I would have been absolutely horrified if I'd realised what was going on. I felt very guilty when I got home that I hadn't been home to support him. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. I was going to the post office to buy some stamps for my Christmas cards. After seeing two men coming out carrying a, a sawn-off shotgun, I was extremely worried what I was going to find in the post office. Oh, my God, are you all right? Mm. Yeah, yes, there's been a robbery at Spencerwood Post Office. I've got the yeah. registration number. Oh, well, well done. Uh, the car registration number is MJD522X. Yeah. Two men, one of them armed. Within three quarters of an hour, and just three quarters of a mile away, the car was found abandoned on a farm track. The offside front had been damaged in the three days since the BMW had been stolen. It was much later that I found out the shotgun had been fired, and I suddenly realized that the pellets must have missed me by a couple of inches. I was very shaken. Slim. It's just such a shame that we've been here all these years and this should happen just as we're about to retire. Adrian Bex, we do at least have artist impressions of both of the attackers and they, they seem to be fairly similar in appearance. They are. The gunman is a man aged in his late 20s, early 30s, slim build. He had an unusual black leather jacket with a graphical design of some sort covering the whole of the back. Some Chinese looking design by the, by the looks of it. The other man, the one in the brown jacket? Very similar description. The only difference uh, between him and the gunman, he had some facial stubble. The car itself, it was an old shape uh, BMW 3 Series, as you can see the number there, MJD 522X. That was stolen on the 23rd of November. It wasn't recovered for three days. That's right. Uh, we'd like to know where that car was in the meantime. Uh, in between the time of the theft and the recovery, shortly after the robbery, it, it had some offside damage caused. We'd like to know how that damage was caused. You don't know if it was struck by another car or whether it was an impact with a We've no a idea how it was caused. If anyone can help us with that, we'd like to hear from And them. the area, probably West London or down the M4 towards Reading? Quite possibly. OK. You've uh, brought some water filters with you. These are uh, NSA water filters, sort of things that normally are sold in people's homes, and there might be <laughs> thousands of people who've had these offered to them, but seven of these are missing from, from the boot of the car. They went from the boot of the car. If anyone can help us with those in any association uh, with men of the description that's been given, we'd like to hear from but them. only if you can link them with some other clue, otherwise we'll get thousands of calls, sure. please. And we've got one other description of one other man. We have. There was a man that went into the post office two days before yeah. trying to sell some stolen child uh, benefit vouchers. He was uh, aged in his late teens, early 20s. If anyone can help us uh, with identifying that man, we'd like to hear from them. And you're not really interested in prosecuting him for the, for the vouchers, providing you can eliminate him? We'd like him to come forward and, uh, so that we can eliminate him. The number here in the studio, 081811-8181. Or you can call Reading Police Station Direct on 0734 5999 